So welcome and in this video I will show you how to prepare Deus Ex for speedrunning. So first you need to install the game, like I have the Steam version here. Uh, just let it run one time just to see if the game works. Uh, and if the game works you can just close it again. So just do a quick test. And this is already enough to, to see that the game works. There's things in it. It's just to make the, to let the game uh, make some configuration files for you. So next, what you want to do is go to uh, kenti.net and download the direct DJ 10 renderer. So you can find it here. And you can also find uh, Deus Ex, which is a replacement executable for Deus Ex. You can download it here. And if you don't have Visual Studios 2015, you can also download it here and install it first. So what you want to do with these files is um, go to your go to the place where you have the game installed which will be for the Steam version your Steam library so program files Steam Steam apps common this X so here I have the files already so the RTX 10 renderer so go to the DSX folder copy these files then go back and to the system folder and copy these files and next up to this XO so the same thing, just copy these, then go to the system folder and paste these. And you can make a shortcut also to this executable. Um, if you open it, you get this little menu. So go to configure and make sure the render is DirectX 10. Um, if you prefer, you can use a different one like the DirectX 9 or OpenGL. But as far as I know, most runners use DirectX 10. Uh, FPS limits needs to be off on this screen. And we need to window it. And just use a resolution you like. The rest should be okay, 32 bit color if it's not enabled. Just that's sometimes set to 16 instead of 32. Um, that's it. Another thing you see here is user ini. So if you're doing the category which does user ini edits, um, you need this file and you can edit it to add some extra safe and load keys, which are uh, these aliases. So alias safe game, load game, safe game one, load game one. Save game 2, load game 2. Uh, I have an additional one here that I don't really use, but you can add as many as you want. And then in the key bindings, so the, which are below, you can uh, set these names, these alias names, to the corresponding key. So, for example, if you go all the way down, you have like left bracket is save game 2 in uh, my case. Uh, right bracket is load game 2, so I have a save and load couple, which is done with left and right bracket. Uh, the under ones I use are uh, semicolon and single quote, and um, underscore or minus and equals. Um, and these key bindings, you can only edit them in the user in file itself. You cannot change them in the game. Uh, all the other keys you can change in the game. So apart from that, um, there's another little thing you can do in the settings. So if you go to control panel, so I have here touch control panel, and go to your keyboard settings, you have these um, 
uh, repetition delays and repetition speed of the keys. So you want to set it to as fast as possible, as short as possible. And this way you can skip conversations with the spacebar pretty quickly. And another thing you need is live split. So live split is the timer which has also a load removal and auto splitter function. So if you open uh, live split, get this uh, tiny timer here. So I want to open, I have a file linked when you go to speedrun.com slash dx and resources. Um, there should be a splits file which you can also download and if you open that splits file in live split just open it in the folder so you open this in live split should get this uh, empty file with all these map names as split as splits so you can go to edit splits a game name should be here Deus X and then you can activate auto splitting and load removal and you can even change some settings here so automatic start automatic reset automatic split on map change so it can split on all these maps so you don't have to do anything manually Now, um, back to the game. Um, so if you open the game, you can also use Steam for this. So, a couple of key bindings that are, I think are important. Uh, one is use object in the world, you want right mouse button and mouse wheel up or down. If you have a screen pre-scrolling, it will give you advantage with the mouse wheel. Uh, if not, then it's still okay to run. Uh, furthermore, well, uh, moving strafe keys, and beam, so um, probably item. So the jump, crouch, reload, um, health screen, augmentation screen, and skill screen all need a key. And finally, we also have a key for. F7 for the leg augmentations, just so that you can activate or deactivate it easily. I also have a uh, key here, send message to the team, which is why. So if you do that, you get a little command line at the bottom. So just remove that by um, using arrow down, for example, or backspace, and type in preferences. You get this advanced options menu. So go to rendering, direct extend, and what you want to check is that FPS limit is at 120 or lower. I have it at 99 myself, and VSync is off. These are really the only options you need to check. You can also change some other things here, and it's not really important. And that should be it for configuring the game. We have a couple of um, save and load keys, so in my own user ini file, I have them on numpad plus and slash. I have the quick save, so the built in one on uh, period, command period. Then I have another save at semicolon and single quote. Another one on left bracket and right bracket, and one on minus and equals. And you can see them all uh, as untitled here. That those are the files, the safe and load keys we added in the user in file. And then there's the quick save as well. So that's the built-in quick save of this game. Um, just um. The folder where this, where you put this in, 
should be on documents is x system there you can find the user ini and you may want to also make a copy of the one that's already in there just in case you want to switch to no user ini edits categories or switch back to with user ini edits categories so that you can switch them easily uh, so yeah anyways that's it for setting up DSX.